Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Android application using Anchor. It's a library on top of Kotlin. I could show you this video using Java, but Kotlin is much better. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first, let's create an Android project. I'm going to start from scratch. going at the default so this is the basic application we all love and know the on create method and the default layout now let's change the libraries before that I'd like to let you know that you need to plug in well you could do without plugin but plugin will make your life much easier one is Kotlin and another one is Kotlin uh, extension function so, which is this one Kotlin extension for Android so you don't need this uh, for now it's uh, built in with Kotlin language So now first let's add the plugins. Next in the source set, let's add a Kotlin folder. Next in the dependencies, next we're going to add the build script. So you're going to use 1.0-1-2. Uh, repository J Center and dependencies of in Gradle plugin and common Android extension. In the libraries, we are going to use Kotlin Reflect, Kotlin Standard Library, and for Anko, Anko SDK and Anko App Compact. And we also need to add the repository which is Maven Central. Now let's seek the project. We need to add the Kotlin folder under the main. Okay. Now to change Java file into Kotlin file, I'm sorry, all you need to do is control Alter Shift K and it will change your code to Kotlin code. Now move it to your Kotlin folder, hit refactor, and in here, remove this, we're not going to be needing it, but we do need to add the package because we added it over here that we're going to use this package. That's why we need to add this over here. Okay, all done. Need to move it over there. Okay. All right. Next, for the benefits of Anko, we don't need any XML for building our views. So let's remove this and this one. And from our layout, let's remove this one as well. Now to create a basic view, all we need to do is selecting a vertical layout. Let's import it. Next, let's add component to it. For example, let's add an edit text. So to add an edit text, all you need to do is edit, write edit text. That's it. To add a button, all you need to do is say button. To give it a value, say OK. Now write and see into action. Let's select the emulator. So here is my emulator. 
and we have our application so it's that easy now let's do something with this so we want to show what's inside this what we type over here and you click OK so let's do that so suppose we give this a name like well name this is something and then what we want to do so on click we want to print our show a toast so these are all built-in function I'm not writing anything from here so let's import it okay let's complete it first for some reason it showed error anyway and then to access the variable name all you need to do is dollar sign then the variable name in this case name dot text that's it let's run this and see it in action app is getting ready and the app restarted so now if i write something and press ok i should be seeing it toast and indeed i do okay now let's do something advanced for example let's sorry test and with relative layout so what we want to do is let's say add a plain text stress this all the way then add another plain text and add a button stress it and finally maybe adding another button so let's align with the bottom so how can i do this in cut uh, in anchor so let's see so first let's get rid of this and make it a relative layout next add uh, edit text Now uh, we can set ID to it, maybe ID 1, I could add hint, I could set the text size, 24 maybe. Now to set the layout params, we need to add another block. So here we can say where it's going to be. It's going to be aligned to top. It's giving me some error. It will be L param, not layout param. So it's going to be aligned to top. It's going to be uh, aligned to left. It's going to be aligned to right. Okay, that's all for it. Next, we're going to add another uh, text. Yeah, another text. So let's add edit text. So let's put ID equal to 2. Put hint maybe age. Well, let's go with the default in this case. Set the le L param. <coughs> so we're going to say it's going to be under edit text. So to say that, all we need to say is down. Uh, down actually below. So ID in this case ID is one, so that's all I need. 
and it's going to be handling left and right aligned with left and right now the cool thing about anchor is you could put all this in a function for example you could just get a method from it so what is the shortcut t at t m extract method yes so let's give it a name like align align left and rig is the right so yeah so here you can see we can reduce our code like this using calling functions we could replace it over here as well so it's more concise next let's add the button but in this case uh, we don't we can't put right because sorry because at the right it's not aligned to right we need to add a button so let's add the button and we can't use this then we are just going to need to align it with the parent left so next add the button and equals 3 you could give any ID params so it's going to be uh, below one as well but it's going to be aligned parent right now set this uh, at us next to the button let's see what is the code so the code over here is this is the edit text and we said over here align sorry this one layout to start of uh, button and layout to left of the button so we just need to set the left this will be automatically gathered by anchor so yeah let's add that left off the id in this case is three so you're done over here let's run this and see what happens so yeah that's what happened over here you get the name age and the button with your kotlin or anchor code so the button doesn't have any level because i forgot to add it over here so you can at this level is set or something and yeah debug it sure enough you see the message so yeah that's it guys that's all i wanted you to show in this video how you can get rid of your xml file for designing and you can reuse your code like this so you have multiple element where you need to set the line left and right you could use function uh, you could pretty much do everything programmatically so that's a really cool feature uh, by anko so yeah bye bye guys that's all for now